Hello and welcome to the brewery. Today we're back with the dodgy keg former system. Last time we left this with the hardware done for one keg and the software, well, as a concept at best. So what have I been doing since then? Well, for the second keg, I bought a set of load cells rather than hacking, hacking apart a pair of scales. I crafted some Perspic mounts for them to support the outside of the load cell, but allow the bendy bit, I don't know what it's technically called, to move a little. I glued these to the bottom of a piece of aluminium tread plate, the other half you saw in the first video. This made a much lower profile set of scales compared with the set in the first video, which made it much easier to fit them into the fridge. I wired this as a Wheatstone bridge again, and then wired the bridge to the B channel of the existing system. At the same time I was working on the software. I wrote a rubbish Python daemon that read from each sensor and pushed the data to a URL if the data had changed just to save some of the money because I was going to be using AWS so data transfer rates were important. This daemon also ignored any values that moved more than a couple of percent from the last one they got. This was because the system was getting quite a lot of odd outliers. Now one of the reasons I build these things for my brewery is to keep myself up to date with the technologies I'm asking people to use at work. So some of them are a little bit more complicated than they need to be. In this case, the Python daemon hits a Lambda on AWS via an API gateway and updates a serverless Aurora DB. See, I told you it was overly complicated. And on top of that, a second Lambda provides access via another API gateway to a trivial Android app that runs on a repurposed Kindle Fire. And yes, yes, it is mounted in the holder for a kid's Kindle that I've coloured in black. The whole system is now together and more or less works, but there are a few issues at the moment. There appears to be some crosstalk between the two keg channels. If the left keg is full, the right keg reads higher by a few percent, which is a bit odd, especially as the opposite doesn't happen. So I'm not sure what the cause of this is, but I am investigating. Anyway, that's it for now on this project. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all again soon.